Hello everyone and welcome to another video. In this video we'll build a video editor from scratch using Node.js. We'll use FFmpeg and Jimp to help us with the editing. I recently started an Instagram account so I wanted to make a quick video editor that will add some padding to the video in order to match the aspect ratio for IGTV and also add a watermark with my uh, Instagram account name. This is my first time using those two modules, FFmpeg and Jim, so we'll learn together in this video how to use them. So my approach here is to get the original video, decompose that into images, one image for each frame using FFmpeg. After that, we'll edit these images using GIMP and compose all the modified frames back into a video. I just wanted to let you know that this video moves at a pretty fast pace so if at any point you need more time you can pause the video or even adjust the speed from the player's bottom right corner. So let's get started. We'll start by creating the repository using npm init. After this, we'll use npm install to add our dependencies for this project. We'll use gimp, fs extra and ffmpeg static. We'll use gimp for our frames manipulation. We'll use fs extra for interacting with our file system and ffmpeg for our video manipulation. Now let's create an index.js where we'll uh, write our application. At the beginning of the file we'll import our dependencies. We have gimp, fs extra and we have ffmpeg. We'll also require the util package that will help us with the execution of ffmpeg. Now we'll create an exec function that will basically create another process from our application that will uh, run the ffmpeg command. Now we'll start to define some config variables that we'd use throughout this program. We have video encoder, which will be equal to H264. We'll use input file, which will be input.mp4. And output file, which is output.mp4. Now we'll define an async function where we leave the whole code of our application. Inside that we'll have a try catch block that will catch our errors. Now we'll start our program by creating some temporary folders that we'll use throughout the program. We'll have a folder for the unedited frames and a folder for the edited frames. Now we can start decoding our MP4 video into PNG frames. Because I want to use this video to IGTV, I will also scale the video to 1080 pixel when I decode it. Now we are ready to move on to the rendering process. That's the process where we take each frame and edit it using GIMP. First thing that we have to do here is read all the files from our raw frames folder. Yeah. 
to make things easier for us in the future I decided to move the input folder and output folder in some variables. This way it's uh, easier for us to change it if we need it. Now moving back to our code, this will give us a list with all the unedited frames that we can use to look through and edit them. The first thing we'll want to do is log the progress of our rendering. After that, we'll want to read the current frame. We'll edit the frame using GIMP and we'll save it back as a PNG. We'll read our PNG frame from the file and create a GIMP object out of it. Now we'll define a function that will help us edit each frame. The function will have only one parameter and that will be the frame as a GIMP object. We'll calculate the height for the new aspect ratio because we want to keep the current video width. I remind you that the aspect ratio we are going for is 916 and that's used for IGTV. Now the height must be an even number so we'll uh, add one if it's uh, odd. Now we'll load the gym font and use that to print our watermark on the frame. Being for an Instagram account, I want to put my Instagram name on the corner of the, of the frame. Oh, and I forgot, in order to print the watermark, we need a new GIMP image with the new width and height. Now we can go back and finish adding the text to the frame. Now we'll add our original frame over the new frame and we'll center that vertically. We achieve this by setting the Y position equal to the new height divided by 2 minus the old uh, frame height divided by 2. Now we can just return the new frame. Going back to our main function, we can just call the modify frame and passing our current frame. And don't forget to add a wait because that's an async function. Moving on, we can just save our frame to the output folder. Now we are ready to test things out, so let me bring a test video for this.
Oh, and replace this uh, misspelled variable name. And add the start command in our package.json. Things seem to be working fine, the new frames are generated and the watermark is added, the padding is added, so we can just stop the program now and continue working on it. I'll also delete the temp folder that was generated because we'll uh, clear that automatically later. Now we are ready to create our check progress function that will be in charge on logging uh, the status of our rendering. It will receive two parameters, the current frame number and the total number of frames. So we'll calculate the percentage and we'll add a global variable that will keep track of our current progress. We want to log the progress every 10%, so we'll uh, log it at uh, 10%, at 20%, and so on. Now we can call it in our main function. Yeah, we can give it another shot and see if it's working. As you can see, it's uh, successfully logging our uh, rendering status. Now we are ready to encode the frames back into a video. This will give us the video, but remember that it doesn't have any audio yet. Now we can copy the audio from the original video. One last thing we have to do is get rid of all the generated temporary files. So we'll delete the temp folder. And fix those typos here. Now we are ready for the final test. Let's see if it's working. Yeah, it's never running from the first shot, so let's fix this.
The problem is that I forgot to surround the FFmpeg full path with uh, quotes. It needed quotes because I have some spaces in the path and that's not allowed. So I deleted the temp folder and now I'm gonna try again. Let's hope this time works. As we can see, the video was generated successfully and it contains our old video, the padding and the watermark. So that was it. You can find the GitHub repository in the description. Don't forget to like the video, comment and share it with your friends.